What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Rich, here to talk some MLB prop plays over on Prize Picks for Monday, April the 10th. We have a great slate today, and by great, I mean some pitchers who like to give it up. So let's dive into that right now. And here we go. We are starting off the bat with not a bad pitcher, but a pretty good one as far as I'm concerned. And that is Shane Bieber up against Aaron Judge today. Judge has been on fire, as you can see. 2.3 hits, runs, RBIs over the course of the last seven games. And 3.0 on the season obviously started off super hot up against Bieber today. I know it doesn't seem like the best matchup. Bieber is a phenomenal pitcher. Uh, he had his ups and downs last year. His first start was pretty decent, but up against the Yankees today, he could struggle a little bit. And Judge has a great history against him, batting 429 with four RBIs. I will take that every day, and I'm willing to bet on Judge, who's been super hot and I believe hit two home runs just yesterday and has been on a tear, honestly, all season long. So I'd be willing to bet on him for his hits, runs, and RBIs over one and a half. They are minus 125 over on DraftKings, and I think they could get even higher by the time this game ultimately starts. Next is Nolan Arenado, who is up against Herman Marquez, one of the worst pitchers in baseball over the past few seasons, especially at home. His ERA is two points higher. It's not really his fault. Coors Field is a hitter's haven, as you can see. Park factor of 125 for runs uh probably the most sco run scored in any ballpark by far i mean there's just runs galore in course field but arenado has struggled a little bit only 0.3 runs over his last seven games 0.6 on the course of the season so he hasn't done his best he's been getting his rbis but he's struggled to say the least he's still minus 125 it's still a great hitters park they could score 15 runs i mean like the over under for this game has to be at least 12 there's no reason why Arenado can't do it. He is favored to go over. And some books even have this number at minus 130, minus 135. So it's a great spot for him, obviously, in course Field. Marquez tends to give up a lot of runs. Just against the Dodgers last game, he allowed three homers, and that was in Dodger Stadium. Coors, different animal, and even more runs could be scored. St. Louis has been playing very, very well. And I think they, I, and I fully expect them to continue to do so today. Mike Trout, just take Mike Trout. Patrick Corbin is awful. He's been averaging. 1.2 total bases over the course of the season. He's been on a tear recently. My goodness. It seems like every game he's hitting his total bases over one and a half. They are minus 125 to go over. Patrick Corbin is god awful. And there's been a lot of runs scored in uh, LA over the past couple of games. I mean, Toronto just put up 12 in the series, in the last game of the series. So there's a lot of opportunity for runs. And Trout's just been phenomenal over the last week or so. So definitely like his spot. And as you can see, great history against uh, Patrick Corbin as well. 429, six RBIs. I didn't even mention Arenado batting 350 against Herman Marquez. So that's another great spot. And the last player has been one of my favorite bets all year long. Randy Arozarena has just come out the gate firing. Uh, the Rays obviously undefeated. Best run differential in baseball. Pretty sure it's like plus 57 or something ridiculous like that. I'm pretty sure they're over double the next team, which is just absurd. Uh, they play Boston today. It is in Tampa. So they've been on their homestand for a little bit now. They, they invite Boston to Tampa, where they've been scoring a ton of runs. I don't think they scored less than nine runs in any game against the A's. Now, again, that's the A's, but the Red Sox haven't exactly been the best team in the majors either. So I'm, I'm not trying to say that that couldn't happen again. And the Rose Arena is a big part of that. As you can see, 3.8 hits, runs, RBIs over the course of the year. And uh, again, no history against Pavetta, but Pavetta wasn't great. Uh, he only allowed one earned run, but his FIP, which is fielding independent pitching, was an eight. So that, that means that he got pretty lucky in terms of how he actually pitched and the outcome of the game. So I'm not expecting that again, especially against the Rays, who are literally the best team in baseball right now. When you just combine what they're doing, hitting the ball and their pitching and adding Brandon Lau to their lineup, who as well is another great play today that I really, really like. Um, but a Rose Arena, you can take him with confidence, minus 120. Uh, he's been in a great spot and just been on fire. I bet him almost every day because he's just phenomenal playing at a very high level and really helping to propel that Rays lineup to what it is a lot of bombers behind him he's batting second you know he's been hitting for good average he's drawing walks he's stealing bases now even he got a steal in the series against Oakland so he's doing it all and he can really do a lot whether it's from an RBI perspective or getting on base and scoring runs so I really really like a Rosarena uh him judge Arenado Trout just phenomenal plays today. I think you can take them all with confidence. So to a quick recap, Aaron Judge over his hits, runs, RBIs at one and a half. Nolan Arenado over his runs at 0.5. Mike Trout over his total bases at one and a half. And Randy Rosarena over his hits, runs, RBIs at one and a half. As always, if you tailgate prospects hell and if we fail, do not bail. Make sure to drop me a like and subscribe for all future content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out.
Peace. If you're not a Pirates fan, you probably don't He's know. He's the closest thing we've seen to Mike Trout. Yeah, the best team in the American League. The Yankees have the most intimidating lineup in baseball. Get up, folks!